I'm Jennifer Angel, these are your stars Leo for August. Now the new moon this month is in your sign on the 17th. So this is known in astro terms as like the wish period. Uh, and of course this is the day I'm going to make you a most dynamic day as well. It's like you can really just sit back, think about your goals, where you are, where you want to be and the journey that you're going to take. So this is the time of the year where you just you sit down and you can either pray, talk to your angels or just put it out there to the universe or just simply be more earth and just write your goals down to reaffirm them. So great time to do that. It's like the, the start of your next um, 12 month phase and happy birthday Leo as well if we've got some birthdays in uh, the in the first three weeks of August. Now your career and money so the sun is in your uh, in your second house on the 23rd and the second house is all to do with money and possessions and on the 20th the Mars and Sun uh, come to come together with a very positive aspect and it's going to help you move forward with any creative projects. Um, so you'll get a boost of energy around this time. So have faith in your goals. Don't worry about what other people are doing or what other people are saying. This is a time where you, you know, go within, you sort out what it is that you want. You, you know, you're a smart operator, Leo, so don't you know, doubt yourself or judge or second uh, doubt your own, um, you know, thoughts and values and the direction that you want to go in, okay? Now, love and romance. So there's a full moon on the second and this is in your seventh house. Um, so this is a chance for you to repair or uh, look at, at your relationships. Your seventh house is all to do with love, partnerships and relationships. The full moon, if you've got any cracks in relationships, then it really just brings it open and up close so you can deal with them. If everything's going fine, you'll just get a heightened level of intense energy. So either way, it's a, it's a very nice time. So Venus will move into your 12th house on the 8th, Venus being the love goddess. Now let's not forget there's two sides of Venus. It's love and romance, but can also be possessive and jealous as well. Um, so, you know, keep in mind those two sides. Now, when it's moving into your eighth house, you want to have a little bit of solo time over this period, um, and that's happening on the, it's happening on the eighth and moving into your twelfth house. I'm sorry. So this is a very intuitive time. So it's a time where you can sit back and just go within. So trust your instincts over this month, Leo, particularly when it's to do with love, romance, and partnerships. If it feels right, great. If something doesn't feel right, there's a good chance that it's not great. Also on the 8th is when Mercury turns out of its retrograde movement, it's stationary. So that particular date is a little bit, a little bit tricky. Um, now your lucky numbers for the month are 2, 17, 20 and 23. And as mentioned, I've put down, down your most dynamic day, August the 17th, when the new moon is in your sign. So have a great month. I'm Jennifer Angel. Thanks for watching.